All right, as we have people join us here, that number keeps clicking up there. Yeah. So, uh, we appreciate you joining us for our live stream. We'll give this just a moment again uh, for people to join us, uh, see our sponsors, and uh, also how you can become a sponsor and a member of the ATBA at our website at broadcastingalliance.org. We hope you will uh, be joining us and uh, some new sponsors this week. Uh, some of them you can see right there on the screen at this point in time. Yeah, let's see that number it is still climbing as uh, people join us. And uh, just kind of hurry up and wait. No, I know how it goes. You, you don't want to jump in too quick, you know? <laughs> yeah, it no usually problem. takes about two or three minutes. But um, all right, we're about two minutes in. So I'm going to I'm gonna stop sharing the screen and uh, we'll come, uh, we'll get started. Uh, as you know, it looks a little bit different from my normal Wednesday webinar, uh, Josh. And uh, we appreciate Josh Wise from Arc Multicasting. Uh, being with us on the webinar today. I've got to remember to look at the camera. Yeah, there. I know you're, you're tempted to want to look at the You know, it, it, it's, screen, I get yeah. so used to doing this this uh, Zoom thing that we do five or six times a day, and now we have a, a real camera set up. It's kind of strange. Yeah, so it's, it's um, actually great. Uh, as you can see, we are coming to you live from the National Religious Broadcasters Convention in Nashville, Tennessee. This convention going on all week this week. And uh, a lot of things going on for our industry here. And uh, especially got a little uh, event tomorrow night on the agenda that uh, you can see in your newsletter and that we're inviting everybody out to come. Tell us what, what are we doing tomorrow night? So, um, you know, I guess it's probably helpful to mention what NRB is. You know, I, I was, uh, when, we, when you grow up in it, it's, it we, well, we're, very familiar, we're very familiar. We're very familiar with it. Uh, so the NRB is the National Religious Broadcasters, and uh, they it's an association, and this is the national right. their convention they have you know once a year, and uh, you know the NRB is is a mix of content creators, content platforms, uh, distribution platforms, and of course broadcast in both radio and television is. A, uh, a key component of those, uh, you know, of that distribution model. And so the, the NRB is a place that we've been coming for some time uh, from the, the ministry side, because, you know, the family that, you know, my family has the uh, television ministry and some of the stuff that they've done historically. And right. we've been involved in, you know, I'm, we're on the TV committee here. Right. And, and I, I started about 35 years ago, uh, with some Christian TV stations. And I, I think we're probably going to have some of our, like Erwin Podhazen, one of our ATBA board members, uh, just walk to the frame. So, uh, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll have some, a lot of our board members are actually here at this yeah. convention because of the event to, that we've got coming up tomorrow night. But, but first, before we dive into that, um, a lot of folks on the webinar are familiar with you and Arc Multicasting, but kind of give us a rundown real quick of what is Arc Multicasting and what in the world are you doing? So Arc, Arc Multicasting, we're, we're a, an operating company taking broadcast assets that have historically never been used for commercial purposes. It's always been uh, religious programming, and that's because the family is uh, obviously connected to the National right. Religious Broadcasters. So we've always we've always operated and and uh, these stations have always functioned as uh, religious content programming and because they've always been um, they've they've not been used for commercial purposes the opportunities that ATSC three presents um, are something that we have a unique opportunity to be able to to lean in on and you know be be full speed ahead embracing all of the different potentials that uh, that 3.0 brings and so um, since the inception of arc multicasting we've been taking uh the approach that we're we're going to innovate and we're going to be on the cutting edge of all things 3.0 to build a business around 3.0 and so we've been doing that for the last three years so we've got uh 300 stations 
you know, approximately 300 stations across the country. They're all low power television stations. Right. And our business is to convert those um, as quickly as we can to build out a, a data casting model where people can take their, their legacy business of linear video content, if that's what they wanna do, then they can use a portion of our spectrum for that. Um, and we'll certainly be serving the public with the free over their channel in that capacity. And um, there's a good probability that that's gonna be something along the lines of what we've historically done. But on the flip side, we're able to utilize uh, a much larger portion of fellow capacity to serve data casting customers. And those data casting customers span from distance learning, connected car, mm -hmm. internet service providers, over the top content owners, the gaming community, the smart agriculture community, all of the different things that, that those on this call or this webinar have been familiar with for some time. Right. Uh, just FYI, we, w we are live, so we will be able to take questions if you do want to grill Josh later. I just put that in the, the questions section on, on our webinar. And uh, just those that are watching on Facebook Live, uh, I'm not monitoring that for questions, so uh, be sure to pop over to Zoom, or if you know me, text uh, your, your question. But uh, anyway, the, the Advanced Television Broadcasting Alliance, we're, we're happy to be here at the NRB convention. Matter of fact, the ATBA in its original form actually started about 12 feet yes, from this very spot. Uh, as uh, a group of uh, folks got together and uh, after the demise of the Community Broadcaster Association said we need representation out there and we got together and that was um, what was the, the first part of the ATBA approximately I think 12 years ago and this is also at the same time that we came up or that we heard about the ATSC 3.0 uh, and Although a spectrum auction was coming up and we saw a train coming at LPTV, we also saw this new technology as, hey, this is something we can use. We didn't understand it. I couldn't get my head around, how can I do internet on TV? And now we're back at this event 12 years later and it's happening. And we're going to show that tomorrow night, Thursday night, right over there in that room, it's here. It's here finally. So, yeah. so tell us about uh, what's here, what, what, what participants should look for tomorrow night. Yeah. Uh, so, so, you know, we don't, we don't post a lot. We don't talk a lot about what all we've been working on, mainly, mainly because we're busy working on it, right? And so, you know, you can either do it or you can talk about it. And so we just, unfortunately, people don't really get to hear about all that we've been working on. I know, on I had to throw you off a phone call just to get you I, to it, talk it, on this it's, webinar. <laughs> it's just because we're just really, you know, we're, we're busy trying to build. And, and Erwin over here has been trying to get a call with you since 2020. I, I, <laughs> the, <laughs> okay. I, I've, been, I've, been hearing, I've been hearing the story often about how hard I am to get all of it. Uh, it's just because we're just so busy. And, right. and we're like, I'm so excited about this opportunity of what we're going to be doing tomorrow night because we get to kind of, showcase what we've been working on and what we've been building and and so the the exciting thing is uh you know it, we're gonna get to show everybody what we're doing it, so, it's real it's real right <laughs> so um you know we all are aware of in, in this community we're aware of of 3.0 right yeah. and we understand that you know you can slice and dice your spectrum you've got the different plps you got all these opportunities of new ways to use the spectrum and and so there's, there's, there's three different components that we're going to be focusing on. One is ARC is building, ARC is building a company, of course, right. a business to monetize the spectrum and to monetize the spectrum by selling the data bits to selling, selling the capacity to various customers. And we know that the standard allows us to slice and dice the spectrum to right. the different, you know, use cases and receiver types and, um, the, the different methods of, you know, the verticals that we talked about, but that's on a per station basis. How do you actually then, uh, how do you do that on a macro level? How do you scale that? How do, how does one go through and, 
control the bits and modify the bits on each of those stations of the different PL3. Yeah, 300 stations sounds it, pretty it, crazy. It's a very complicated process. But in order to be able to serve a macro, you know, an enterprise customer, you've got to be able to, you know, modify and control your network at an enterprise level. And so Hewlett Packard Enterprise, hey, it's in the name. Hey, the, there you go. So, so Hewlett -Pack <laughs> Packard Enterprise, HPE, they came alongside and began working with ARC. Um, golly, we, we began this process about a year and a half ago. And uh, the, it, it's exciting how far we've come in this time because we've, we've built something together where they, they bring an orchestration layer that allows us and enables us to control the network from one central knock at any granular level down to the down to the station modifying the plps but not only that it it there's a a portal and a platform that enables and empowers our customers to be able to pick and choose what they want on a on a national scale on an individual station scale on a regional scale and so their their solution takes an virtualizes our stations. So it takes it, moves it from the edge to the cloud, at the edge being our station edge, you know, at the station. So right, we've got a bunch of servers at the station and a whole bunch of software and it's all controlled by the NOC. And it's something that's really empowered us to be able to do a significantly larger amount um, through, our, through the standard and through our portfolio of assets than we would have been able to do otherwise. So, the second thing we want to show is just how smooth this process works to be able to orchestrate the entire network from one central location. And so we're going to show people doing that from the knock, from you know where I, as the company, can go in and modify my stations, set up a customer, show you kind of some of the use case of different customers and how those customers can utilize that. Um, I think we're out of focus there. Oh, there we go. And maybe I'll move out of the way. Uh, so we can modify the station and, and I'm going to show that from a, from a knock standpoint, and then I'm going to show from a customer standpoint. So I'll log out and I'll log back in as the customers to show what that customer can do from, from the different verticals that we talked about. So there's, there's the technology side, there's the, the assets and the portfolios that are bringing what we're building, and then I'm gonna show the customer side. So TBN is obviously very well known here at NRB. They're the largest Christian television network in the world. Right. And they're one of the largest broadcasters in America. And they are extremely forward thinking. Um, they're not the type that sit on their hands. Exactly. And so uh, with the leadership of, of Matt Crouch and, and his team of, of engineers, they've, they've decided that there, there was an opportunity here to really jump in and participate by becoming yeah. a customer and, and, and essentially buying the bits. They launched a technology arm specifically to explore um, new technologies and to really uh, be, be bullish in this and, area. And some ask, what is Trilogy 5G? So Trilogy 5G is the wholly owned subsidiary of TBN. And uh, Larry Haley, who is the, he's been chief engineer and really running things on the, the technical side for TBN is the CEO of Trilogy. So Larry is gonna be on the stage and he's, man, so sometimes you get in the room and like you see some smart people and you just feel like, man, I'm just gonna be, I a need whole, to get a little smarter, there's right? There's gonna be a whole room of there's smart people. a whole people. room of smart people. And I, you know, I, I'm just like gonna try and rub shoulders with some of these smart people because it makes me, makes me feel better and be smarter myself. So, so Larry's gonna be there on the, the TBN side, the Trilogy 5G side. I'm excited about that. You can hear from the customer what all they're doing. You can hear from Larry on some of the use cases and how they're, you know, going to be uh, utilizing everything that we're talking about. You see the the, the example uh, of it being done because of what HPE is enabled, and you're going to hear from Arc about what we're doing. And then it's exciting that ATBA is there. You guys are sponsoring this event. ATBA is really going to be. Uh, uh, you know, in the, in the, well, in the light. I mean, this is a huge, huge opportunity for low power television. I don't think people realize how big of an opportunity it, it, it is. It is really huge. I mean, you have the ability to go straight to ATSC 3.0 and make money yep. almost immediately yep. versus our full power compadres that have to have a lighthouse here and fire it up over here. 
but they really don't have the capacity to use all of their throughput because they're sharing right now because they've got to keep both things I, going. I think that the I think that there's a real opportunity for low powers because of an early mover advantage, of course. Yes. But I also think I also think there's an opportunity with low powers in how we engage with full powers. Because I think we're gonna be not to not to seem like this is a you know feel good pitch. We're gonna be stronger together, right? We're exactly the more we can implement and integrate together we're gonna to be able to make a greater impact because enterprise wants an, a, a ubiquitous network and ubiquitous networks don't happen by individuals trying to own the world, right? It's, it's gonna be there like an interoperable roaming situation and the Macaw wireless days, you know, it's, it's, there's an opportunity here. So I, I hope that those that come, I'm hopeful that content owners can see some opportunities of, wow, right. we've got a new way to get data to the edge because it, there's no more efficient way than what we're doing. There's no cheaper way to get data to the edge. There's no more efficient way for the data to be consumed than by having it being consumed at the edge. And so we get to show some of that, right? That's exciting. I'm hopeful that infrastructure players can see the opportunity to participate in infrastructure. I'm hopeful that broadcasters see the opportunity to say, wow, we want to explore this some more and maybe, you know, get our hands, uh, get our hands dirty, jumping in the mix here and kind of, building, you know, building some stuff ourselves. And I'm hopeful that content delivery networks um, see opportunities, cloud providers see opportunities. Uh, there's, the opportunities are endless. It, it really is, it's, it's huge. And, and to answer uh, Matthew's question, Matthew asked if we were going to uh, stream things tomorrow night. Uh, we are not going to stream it live, uh, but we are recording uh, so that I will be able to play that back back out live. And, uh, who knows, it may be next week's WSD webinar if I can format it correctly. But uh, we are going to, uh, to record that, but we will not be streaming it live. But to catch it live, if you're anywhere near Nashville, Tennessee, tomorrow at 6 p.m., uh, we do encourage you to come. You do not have to have an NRB registration to get in to this particular event at 6 p.m. in the Delta V and the Gaylord uh, Opryland Hotel. So we do encourage you to come out and see, or if you want to come out and actually see the expo floor here at this convention, um, I think it's less than a hundred bucks for uh, yep. um, a, a pass to the expo floor. And it, they've got a really good expo, expo floor yeah. this year. Now it's not NAB, that's a whole different creature. But speaking of NAB, Josh, we are going to be there this year, much different location. Uh, we're going to be in the, uh, Embassy Suites Convention Center. The uh, and some people go, why are we moving after almost thirty plus years at at the Westgate Hilton, whatever it's been over the many years since we had the CBA meetings there. I think I attended my first one there thirty five years ago. And we've been there almost every year since with something. Ron Bruno kept it going in the interim. Uh, but unfortunately, due to all of the scheduling and COVID, Westgate booked the entire meeting rooms, all of the meeting rooms that we normally use for NAB for a pool tournament <laughs> that is going to happen. So they'll have pool tables. I thought, well, let's just go in there and we'll play pool around our reception. But no, they wouldn't let us do that. So we will be at the Embassy Suites this year. We will also have a full day of activities on April 25th on that Monday um of uh webinars and seminars in our uh suite and uh in some of the rooms there at okay. the embassy suite so we encourage you to come out to nab on april 25th and be a part of uh lptv day so um where are we on time since i'm i'm out of my element with this little setup here all right, so we are at the time where we normally open it up to uh, questions and answers. So if uh, any of you guys out there have uh, questions for Josh or me, Throw me or some Erwin, or I have a question. you have a question, Erwin has a question. Besides video bombing you, <laughs> what is the best way to get a hold of you if you're interested <laughs> in this technology and being part of your amazing network? So, so, <laughs> so thank you, Erwin, so for Irwin that question. Is, Irwin is one of the ones. Look, it's not just you, Erwin. I, 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 I've been half the world was. No, but how do you get a hold of you? 
I've, I've been, how I've, can people reach out to you to be part of that? Info at arcmulticasting.com. <laughs> there you go. No, um, Jay Weiss is, is Jay Weiss at arcmulticasting.com. Uh, w e i s s. So that that is that is a good way to get a hold of me. Um, that's funny. I sh I've just been saying it's not you, it's me. Well, it, I, I can verify this guy's really. Big. I've just watched him here today. Matter of fact, his wife's over there. Got a schedule right there in the hand, going. Okay, you got to go here. You got to go help, there. Right? And matter of fact, we have a full time publicist trying to schedule you too. <laughs> Also, so you may have to contact her or whatever. But anyway, <laughs> talk to my publicist. Uh, so it is very busy, but uh, we do look forward to uh, our audience meeting. Uh, Ali and 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 our friends uh, with I, HPE. I, I'm really like, it's exciting. HPE, you know, they're a big they're a big company, right? Right. And this group has been really spectacular to work with because they, um, you know, we've got. A whole lot of engineers working and they're they're they they hear the vision and they're implementing the things that we want to implement it they're really they've been great to work with but i'm excited about the fact that they were willing to make this leap in like little to no notice right mm -hmm. people are saying i didn't know about it well that's because i i made a comment to hp like literally two and a half weeks three weeks ago i said i really think you guys need to do this Next thing I know, we, we had it booked, we had the event going and we were building and that's just uh, big machines like that don't move quick like that. Yes. There's excitement behind this and I think that it's a testimony to the partnership that's there. Okay, a couple of other things before we get off the line today. Uh, you guys, uh, and we'll go ahead and announce this here. I know there's not a formal news release out there yet. Josh is going, what's he gonna say? Yeah, this is dangerous. Uh, this is dangerous, but uh, tell me about Spectrum. Rep. Spectra, Spectra Rep. So yeah, we've got a formal agreement with Spectra Rep where we are, um, we're, we're taking the Spectra Rep distance learning product, their solution, right. and we're, we're looking to expand that everywhere that we can. So they're working with us, they're working with school districts and the different markets where we're building. We've got 10 stations that are currently in uh, some process of getting built as full 3.0 stations that are, uh, you know, to do the data casting and Spectra reps uh, in the mix to, to do 100% with us. Right, and you just, ha you had that announcement the other day also that there are 10 stations actually under construction at this yep. point in time as full ATSC 3.0 stacks yep. in, in various cities. I don't know, is that public? The um, so we're doing, there's, there's we'll he loves the spot. He's just a pro <laughs> on the spot. Yeah, so there's, there's Dallas. Um, channel 26. And I actually got to go visit while we were doing the install. As they were doing the install. Yeah. And uh, lots of brains it's, around it's the, the equipment racks. We're, so within Dallas, we're actually doing the Dallas Independent School District, you know, Trilogy 5G as the contract. School with, district. I know. And again, TBN, forward thinking. They, they saw the opportunity. They're, they're going with it. So uh, Trilogy 5G, Dallas Independent School District is going to be going over the Dallas station. Wow. So that's exciting. Um, and then we've got College Station, which is uh, you know going to be a great opportunity for test bed for lots of things with uh, A and M and you know, different things. Right, I, I heard the electricals being installed. Yeah, right now. So yeah, the, I wonder why that, how we how you know that? Oh, we're <laughs> we partnered with Lee on some electrical yeah. side right. of things. He's our energy partner. We do have an Emergy Energy, one of our sponsors as yeah. well, uh, helping with electrical. We've, on these build outs we've got uh, several stations in florida that we're bu building and then nashville actually nashville is going to be one of the next ones lit up i'm going to go visit that site exactly. friday and chattanooga on friday and chattanooga see those well. sites so that's 10 stations i didn't mention the specific six in florida but um <laughs> you got pensacola panama a couple of panama city destin uh jacksonville and melbourne i don't think i'm missing any. I think that's, that's right one. sounds about right so yeah, that's the story. Okay. Well, I, and you guys made it really easy without the, without any questions. I know. How did like, you get was off I that this boring? easy? Well, I, I don't know. It's just like uh, you you got off really easy today. I'll take it. Well, sometimes we get some good good questions over on Facebook, and I didn't go over there and look. So Rod Payne's really good about questioning you over there. But uh, um, 
Anyway, we do appreciate it. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, Rod Payne just there wrote. he is. <laughs> Rod, thank you for not being too difficult on me. Yeah, well, he had to come over here from Facebook to... to that's, uh, a, that's a guy I idolize, man. When I, when I grow up, I want to be like Rod Payne. Yes, right. And Rod Payne, we do miss you here. Uh, he, he's been a long part of the oh, yeah. me in the past as uh, on the television committee here. And uh, we, we do miss seeing you uh, here this week and uh, and look forward to maybe you getting out to NAB. Rod is also one of the board members of the ATBA and uh, we appreciate his service there. Again, I'd like to, uh, what are the details of the event? Yep, so it's Thursday night from six to eight uh, Central Standard Time here in Nashville, Delta Ballroom B. And uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. HPE, ARC Multicasting, TBN, uh, ATSC is going to be there. I'm real excited. Madeline Nolan's going to be here. Madeline Nolan is going to yes, be here. Yes, Madeline's going to be here. And uh, she's speaking also on Friday, Friday morning. in the morning. She's going to do a session. So looking forward to that. Um, and then, of course, ATDA. And Erwin Bonhazer has a session tomorrow in the OTT world uh, here at NRB also. Actually, it's tomorrow afternoon, correct? Tomorrow afternoon, 1.15. 1.15. It's so. uh, downstairs. Okay, so uh, it'll be at the exhibit hall, or what do they call that? Yeah, the Showcase, workshops. the workshops. So um, a lot of things going on here at NRB this year. Uh, attendance is up by about a thousand, they say. So that's good. It's really good to see us getting back to uh, somewhat normal. Uh, whatever the new normal looks whatever like. Whatever right? the new normal looks like. Yeah. So there you are. So we're going to give it a wrap today. And uh, let me uh, throw my slide back up there so we get another look at our sponsors and uh, and also uh, just a reminder you can go and join the ATBA find out more about uh, our upcoming event in uh, Las Vegas on April the 25th at the NAB convention and uh, hopefully no new bugs will pop up that cause that cancellation so uh, we're 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 looking forward to uh, seeing everybody at NAB also. So um, we're going to call it a wrap for, for this week. And uh, be sure, and if you have not subscribed to our newsletter, uh, you can also do that at the website at broadcastingalliance.org. Also want to thank MSGPR, Josh Miller, for providing our incredible camera. I'm going to have to upgrade my web camera now <laughs> after this. So uh, we appreciate him. Uh, stopping Definitely. his work here to uh to come help us with the webinar today so that's it it's All a wrap right. thanks